Good afternoon. I'm Alexandra Kritina, journalist of Cave Post, and today with us a Swiss designer. She's a painter, sculptor, eco designer, Isa Gus. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know, your art is uh, reflects a lot uh, Ukraine and Ukrainian values. How come that uh, Ukraine is so important for your art? Uh? I spent four years in uh, Kyiv. I arrived just after Maidan and I left just before Covid. I think it was the most um, interesting uh, moment of my life as, a, as an artist as well. Uh, I began this collection of clothes made with trash in Washington and after moved to many other countries. but. Uh, in Ukraine, I, I find another dimension of it, uh, a bridge between uh, fashion and content. I started this project called the Chernobyl Bride. First, for me, Chernobyl has a very strong in impact in my brain because uh, it was one before and one after. I was very young, but I remember that when I arrived in Kiev that I was so close to Chernobyl. Of course, I wanted to visit and I wanted to talk about it and, and make my art around my feeling about uh, Earth, environment and everything. I think it's very actual because we have threat uh, of Zaporizhia yes. nuclear plant. Even today Russia shelled and uh, I think one of the reactors is not working at the moment. How the Russian invasion actually um, reflect uh, or impacted uh, to your art and your art activities? Well, uh, when I was in Kyiv, it was already invasion uh, of Russians uh, and uh, the, the eastern part and everything. And I already did a lot of performance about uh, it. I have a gun dress that I uh, show uh, sometimes. And I did a performance in uh, Kyiv Metro. Uh, called the Dark Angel. So it was uh, like a, a girl with all those guns with very big uh, uh, dark uh, wigs. She was doing like this and, and I, I filmed how people in the metro in Zolotivorota, for example, they were reacting to this figure, you know, that is like um, a threat in the country and, and what is the impact on how they can uh, perceive this thing in the metro. So it was very interesting. Yes. I see that you supporting Ukraine abroad a lot. So uh, after the full-scale invasion, I see you made performance uh, about Ukrainian Lady Liberty. It was in Art Basel in Switzerland and Paris and Biennale. Can you tell how people reacted? I think it's important to tell the people what's going on uh, right now here in Ukraine. Yes, when from the Chernobyl Bride to Allegory of Ukraine, I mean, uh, the, the Allegory of Ukraine was born the day of full uh, uh, invasion of Ukraine. And so I had this allegory that was the allegory of Mother Earth uh, with the gas mask and everything. And um, the first protest we did in Geneva, uh, my model uh, suggests that we should take the um, the dress with us and uh, make uh, this kind of presence of Ukraine like physically and uh, it was a very good idea because um, we were I think two hours later we were in Washington Post in many press she was leading the protest and it was very interesting and after I saw that it was a big impact on people and it's a very powerful image so when she appeared, whatever uh, the, the, the model that uh, incarnate uh, this figure, it's, it's always uh, stunning. And uh, I have few dresses. I have one that is uh, with the, the, the true colored mask, like gray and black. But I, have, I painted um, some mask in red mm -hmm. and I put, put in eyes inside the mask. So th that was in, in the performance in Paris. And uh, it was another impact because the killer eyes are, uh, are looking to the people from inside and it was like, a, yes, it was... Shocking, very, right? Yes, yes. And she was crying with the blood. With blood. It it's like on yes. your t-shirt, yes, yes, right? Yes, it, it's exactly this, um, this, this figure. performance. Yeah. Wow. And you're planning uh, also performance tomorrow, right? Yes. Here in Kiev. Yes, yes. I wanted to do because... Uh, uh, I think it's important for me to be in Kyiv now, uh, after six months of war, and uh, I, I really wanted to But come how back. Kyiv changed? Because you used to live here and now you came back and it's war. Uh, what changes you noticed? The curfew is the big change because normally uh, in Kyiv it's a, 
big uh, nightlife and now uh, I think uh, at nine o'clock people are going to slowly uh, uh, disappear from the city and for me this is kind of strange sensation. I'm in love with Ukraine and, and I really feel they are so strong. I, I, it, it's really amazing. Um, but how people reacted to your performances uh, abroad? So I, I guess, you know, it's uh, kind of shocking and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, sometimes people are not happy with some negative information. So how, how did it go? I never had a negative impression uh, on the people. I think in general, the whole world is with Ukraine. I really believe it. And I think that uh, when uh, we appear, it's, it's just focalize uh, what is happening in Ukraine at this moment. I think people are, have sim sympathy uh, with Ukrainian, but they, it's far from the, their life and everything. But when we appear, they, they realize suddenly and they, they are with us, of course. Yeah, I think you're doing a great mission, really. Have you met Ukrainian refugees uh, in Switzerland? Oh, yes, of course, yes. Uh, when uh, since uh, February 24th, uh, the first month I didn't sleep at all. I was always in uh, social media trying to help, uh, trying to to find solution for. And it, I, I built many networks, and uh, of course I, I welcome a lot of refugee in my house. I try to find houses for them. I try to solutions when when I can, of course not. Uh. Thank you so much for this interview, and good luck with your performance tomorrow. Thank you very much for inviting me.